Hello guys, how are you doing? Yes, this is your Dr. Vantari Shiva. In this video, we are going to cover one of the interesting questions of uh, electrostatics in the level of uh, IDJ advanced. Now, let us take the question. Two quadrants of a ring of radius R has linear charge densities lambda and minus lambda respectively. Here, if you see, uh, in this quadrant, you have got plus lambda. In this quadrant, you have got uh, minus lambda. That means, uh, what is lambda here, by the way? Linear charge density. If you consider Q is a charge and length is nothing but say L. Charge per unit length is nothing but uh, linear charge density. Now, if the dipole moment of the system is k root k lambda r square, then what is the value of k? That is the question. Now, first of all, let me define what is dipole moment and uh, what is dipole. Dipole is nothing but uh, two equal and opposite charges are separated by small, some small separation is nothing but a uh, dipole. Now, the dipole moment is nothing but uh, either charge times uh, the separation between them and uh, it is always in the direction of uh, minus charge to plus charge it will be or I mean uh, located at the center from the center like this. Uh, let me represent this with a uh, P bar. Now here also it is looking like that but now here it is a, a extended charge. So it is not possible for me to find out the dipole moment at a stretch. Then what I will do is uh, I will consider one small charge. Let me say that as a dq. Now, exactly on the opposite end, uh, let me consider one more charge uh, which is uh, say minus dq and assume that this uh, dq charge is uh, distributed for a length of uh, dl, let us say, kind of an arc. Okay. Now, you are considering this uh, at an angle theta with respect to x axis. Now, this charge distribution is uh, make subtending an angle d theta, let us say. Okay, so similarly, you can also consider uh, this charge is having uh, is making an angle theta with a negative x axis and it is also subtending an angle uh, d theta. Very good. Now, what is the dipole moment for this? So, now P is equal to either charge times uh, separation. That is what is the dipole moment, is what we have just discussed. Now, it is a small charge. So, it is going to be small dipole moment dp that is going to be small charge dq and separation between them. What is the separation between them? 2r. Now, what is dq by the way? So, lambda is a uniform, uniformly charge distribution, charge distribution for that uh, small charge by its small length. Let me say dl. Okay. Can I say this as a dq is equal to lambda dl? Now, what is this DL by the way? DL is a kind of an arc which is subtending an angle uh, d theta. d theta. Now, it is having radius r. Then the arc length DL, DL is going to be, this is d theta. DL is going to be r d theta. r is the radius of this arc and uh, angle subtended by this arc is nothing but uh, d theta. Now, can I substitute that DL here? Lambda r d theta that is your dq so let me substitute that here to r lambda r d theta so dp is going to be 2 lambda r square d theta that is your dp now this is the dp and that will always be directed from minus charge to plus charge now it should be in this direction okay minus charge to plus charge in the, it should be in this direction that is your dp now, this dp will be having two components, one along x axis, can I say if this is theta, can I say this is dp cos theta, I am taking the components of dp vector, now this component, y component is going to be dp sin theta, now x component, dp x is nothing but dp cos theta, if I integrate all these x components, I will get a total dipole moment along x axis, hmm. now what is that, let us see. What is dp? 2 lambda r square cos theta d theta. Alright. Now, what about this uh, 2 lambda r square? They are constants. If I take it out of integration, integral cos theta d theta, sin theta. What about the limits of this guy? Theta. Theta is actually, if I take the first and foremost segment of this charge, I can take it here. And the final one, if I keep on changing, taking many such uh, segments, the final segment I can take here is uh, 
at this location and that is making an angle 90 okay the first one at a zero angle final one is being made at a 90 degrees so 2 lambda r square uh, sin 90 minus uh, sin 0 sin 90 is what amma 1 sin 0 0 so it's going to be 2 lambda r square is your px x component of dipole moment now what about uh, y component of dipole moment here so that is going to be integral dpy is equal to dp sin theta if i take all these dp sin thetas i'll get a total dipole moment along the y axis now what is dp 2 lambda r square sin theta d theta isn't it now 2 lambda r square uh, sin theta sin theta integration is what uh, minus cos theta limits of this guy is nothing but again i can take the first and foremost segment here and final segment is going to be at 90 degrees so 0 to 90 again now 2 lambda r square whenever you have got minus substitute lower limit first and forget that minus cos 0 minus cos 90 so 2 lambda r square cos 0 1 cos 90 0 it is again 2 lambda r square now i want uh, to have net dipole moment that's the question so that's going to be uh, it's actually like a p bar is equal to p x i cap plus p y j cap i want to have the dipole moment uh, magnitude and that's going to be root of uh, p x square plus u square let me say this is some x let me say this is some x so uh, it's like x i cap plus uh, x j cap isn't it now if i just find out this uh, magnitude i'll get uh, x square plus x square root of 2x square root 2x what is that uh, x here 2 lambda r square from here okay uh, so can i write this as a uh, 2 root 2 lambda r square now if i compare this equation with uh, k root k lambda r square i can say k is nothing but uh, that is the answer. Any doubts here? Please do comment below in the comment section. Thank you very much.